Today, we're diving into the crucial question, should you invest in realty income, oh, after the earnings surprise? We'll kick things off with a detailed stock analysis and then examine realty income's valuations using my Valuation Google Sheet. Don't forget, you can download the Google Sheet yourself. The link is right in the description box below. If you're unsure which stock would be best for your portfolio, or if you need help analyzing and building a portfolio strategy, join our Discord for free coaching. All right, let's break down the long-term chart for Realty Income Corporation, ticker symbol O. Over the past five years, the chart reveals a noticeable downtrend in the stock price, with a decrease of about 24.27%. This decline indicates that investors who have held the stock over this period have seen a reduction in their capital investment. The chart shows that the stock experienced significant volatility, with a sharp drop observed in early 2020, which likely corresponds to the market's reaction to global economic uncertainty. Since then, the stock has had periods of recovery, but has struggled to reach its previous highs, suggesting that the market is still finding its footing with this stock. One key point to highlight is the stock's yield, which is currently at 5.82%. For dividend investors, this might still be an attractive figure, as it suggests a potentially steady stream of income. However, the declining stock price could be a concern, as it may signal underlying issues with the company or the market's valuation of it. The current market cap of $45.74 billion, along with a relatively high volume of trading, indicates that realty income is a sizable player in the market, which is often seen as a positive sign for stability and liquidity. Given these factors, we'll need to delve deeper into the earnings reports, financial health, and market conditions to understand whether this stock can be a solid addition to a dividend-focused portfolio. In the Discounted Cash Flow DCF analysis for Realty Income Corporation, there's a lot to unpack. Historical data, the free cash flow FCF, has demonstrated a consistent upward trend from $0.52 billion in 2013 to $1.32 billion in 2021, indicating strong historical cash generation ability. DCF projections. The future FCF is projected to continue growing, starting at $1.49 billion in 2022 and reaching $3.82 billion by 2030. The model assumes a terminal value of $1.47 billion, which is a valuation given to the company beyond the forecast period. Growth rates. The average growth rate used in the model is 12.53%, which seems quite optimistic given the perpetuity growth rate is set at 2.50%. This perpetuity rate is applied to forecast the company's performance into the indefinite future and is a more conservative estimate than the average growth rate. Discount rate. A discount rate of 9.00% has been used to present value future cash flows. The discount rate is a critical input in a DCF and reflects the risk associated with the future cash flows. Valuation summary. The sum of discounted free cash flows, FCF, and terminal value gives a total company value of $14.00 billion. After adjusting for cash and cash equivalents, $2.96 billion, and total debt, $21.22 billion. The equity value is computed to be negative at $4.26 billion. Given the number of shares outstanding, $0.86 billion, the DCF model suggests a price per share of $4.95, which implies that the stock is overvalued at the current price. It's important to note that DCF is highly sensitive to the inputs used, particularly the growth rates and discount rate. The negative value here suggests that either the growth rates are overly optimistic, the discount rate is too low, or there are other factors not accounted for in the model that are affecting the valuation. Investors should use this model as one of several tools in evaluating the company's value, and not as a definitive measure. The Dividend Discount Model, DDM, for Realty Income Corp, shows an intrinsic value calculation based on the company's dividends. In this DDM, the average dividend growth rate is set at 8.47% for 2021, and then drops significantly to 0.81% for 2022, with a slight increase to 2.81% for 2023. The weighted average cost of capital, BOACC, which is used as the discount rate, is 7.29%. Based on these inputs, 
the intrinsic value of Realty Income Corp. is calculated at $32.68 per share. Compared to the current market price of $52.82 per share, the model indicates that the stock is overvalued by minus 44.11%. The drastic drop in the average growth rate after 2021 might indicate analysts' expectations of a slowdown in dividend growth or a conservative estimate to moderate the valuation. It's important to consider that DDM assumes that dividends will continue to grow at a constant rate indefinitely. And given the inputted rates, this model suggests that the market price is significantly higher than what would be justified by the dividend payments and growth alone. As with any valuation model, the outputs are highly sensitive to the inputs. And the DDM in particular is best suited for companies with stable and predictable dividend payouts. The DDM does not consider other potential sources of shareholder returns, such as buybacks or price appreciation, due to earnings growth which could explain why the market price is higher than the DDM intrinsic value. Investors should use DDM as part of a broader investment analysis process. Using the Graham valuation formula for Realty Income Core, we have an earnings per share, EPS, of $1.26, a projected growth rate, G, of 22.62%, a yield of AAA corporate bonds, AI, at 5.01%, According to this data, the intrinsic value, V, calculated by Graham's formula, is $20.49. An older version of the valuation, V, O, L, D, shows an intrinsic value of $67.71. With the current market price at $52.82, the difference according to the new valuation suggests the stock is overvalued by 257.73%. The margin of safety which is Graham's key concept for risk assessment, is at 65%. This is the percentage by which the current price exceeds the intrinsic value, suggesting significant overvaluation. The acceptable buy price is $13.32, based on Graham's principles, which is substantially lower than the current price, indicating that the stock would not be considered a buy under these strict criteria. The significant growth rate assumed in this model might not be sustainable and could be inflating the older intrinsic value. Furthermore, the Graham formula typically provides a conservative estimate and the market may price the stock higher due to factors not captured by the formula, such as stable dividend payments or a strong market position. This is a reminder that while valuation formulas provide guidance, they should be one of many tools used in the investment decision-making process. The Valuation Cockpit provides a consolidated view of different valuation methods for Realty Income Core. Discounted Cash Flow, DCF. Average Growth Rate, 12.53%. Perpetual Growth Rate, 2.50% Discount Rate, 9.00%. Sum of Free Cash Flow, FCF, $14.00 billion. Cash and Cash Equivalents, $2.96 billion. Total Debt. $21.22 billion equity value, $4.26 billion shares outstanding, $0.86 billion DCF price per share, $4.95. This suggests that, based on the inputs, the stock may be overvalued, as indicated by the negative price per share. Dividend Discount Model, DDM. Weighted Average Cost of Capital, WACC, 7.29% Intrinsic Value. $32.68. The DDM suggests a lower intrinsic value compared to the current market price, potentially indicating overvaluation as well. Benjamin Graham Valuation Model. Intrinsic value, $20.49. Acceptable. Buy price, $13.32. Margin of safety, 65% Graham's model indicates the stock is significantly overvalued with a high margin of safety suggesting that the current price is far above the calculated acceptable buy price. Across these valuation models, there's a clear indication that Realty Income Corp's current market price exceeds the intrinsic value calculated by these methods. It is important to note, however, that these models are based on various assumptions which may not fully capture the company's future potential or market conditions. Additionally, the discrepancy highlights the importance of using a range of valuation methods 
to gain a comprehensive view of a company's potential value. Investors should consider these alongside qualitative factors, market trends, and other relevant data when making investment decisions. Let's dive into the current analyst ratings and factor grades for Realty Income Corporation, ticker symbol O, to better understand the market sentiment and key performance indicators. Starting with the quant rating, Realty Income has secured a buy status with a score of 3.87. The quant algorithm used for this rating weighs various metrics, with a focus on those that have shown strong predictive value in the past. This positive outlook is echoed in the SA Analyst's rating, which also aligns with a buy at a score of 4.06. On the other hand, Wall Street analysts have given Realty Income a slightly lower yet still optimistic buy rating of 3.77. Digging into the factor grades, we see a mixed picture. Realty Income's valuation is rated a BIS, indicating that the stock might be reasonably priced compared to the market. Growth is graded at an impressive A+, reflecting strong past and projected future growth in earnings. Profitability stands strong with an A grade, highlighting the company's ability to generate profits relative to its peers. However, the momentum has a grade of D+, suggesting the stock hasn't been gaining much traction with price or earnings momentum recently. Lastly, the revisions factor sits at CE, indicating some analysts have been lowering their earnings estimates. Wall Street analysts' average rating history over the last year has been relatively stable, showing that the company maintains a consistent buy sentiment among the experts. The price target set by these analysts suggests an average upside potential of 16.19%, with an average target of $61.59 and some as high as $76. This could indicate room for growth from its current price, which might be especially compelling for dividend investors looking for both income and capital appreciation potential. It's important to take these ratings with a grain of salt. They reflect opinions and are just one piece of the puzzle. As we move on to our financial analysis and valuation section, we'll be able to paint a more comprehensive picture of Realty Income's true investment potential. And remember, if you want to crunch these numbers yourself, you can access my valuation Google Sheet via the link in the description. Stay with us, hit that like button if you're enjoying the analysis, and subscribe for more insightful stock reviews. Taking a look at this price target versus actual price chart for Realty Income Corporation, ticker symbol O, we can observe some intriguing trends and disparities. From the chart, we see that the analyst's price target, represented by the orange line, has generally trended above the actual stock price, the blue line, particularly since the start of 2020. What stands out is the gap between the two lines, suggesting that analysts have consistently held a more bullish view on the stock than the market performance has justified. The target price currently stands at $61.59, which is significantly higher than the actual price of about $53. This persistent optimism from analysts could be based on fundamental factors like the company's strong track record of dividend payments, real estate portfolio, and business model, which may be expected to perform well over the long term. Analysts might be seeing value that the market hasn't fully recognized or priced in yet. However, the actual price line shows that the market has not risen to meet these targets. It's critical for investors to understand why there's such a discrepancy. Are analysts overestimating the company's performance, or is the market underreacting to its potential? To answer this, investors would need to look at the broader market conditions. Realty incomes, specific financials, and potentially external factors affecting the real estate sector. For dividend investors, the question becomes, is the promise of a high dividend yield enough to compensate for the stock's price not meeting target expectations? Is the potential for capital gains based on these price targets a realistic prospect in the coming months or years? Remember, these targets are based on future expectations, which can be affected by a multitude of factors, including economic cycles, interest rate changes, and company-specific news. It's important to use these targets as a guide, but not the sole basis for investment decisions. And if you're crunching the numbers, don't forget to grab my valuation Google Sheet from the description to see how these targets stack up against your own analysis. Before we move on, if you're finding this analysis helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you won't miss out on our future stock deep dives. 
Realty Income Corporation, known as the Monthly Dividend Company, registered trademark, is a dividend aristocrat that has raised its dividend for 31 consecutive years. Its 10-year dividend growth rate stands at 3.6%, offering a solid yield of 5.9% with a healthy payout ratio of 72.9%. While the dividend growth rate is modest, the reliable and monthly dividends make it an attractive pick for income-focused investors. Realty Income Corporation's latest earnings report indicates a slight underperformance on key financial metrics. The funds from operations, FFO, normalized actual came in at 31 cents, missing the estimates by 2 cents. Additionally, the earnings per share, EPS, Gap Actual was 30 cents, again slightly below expectations by 3 cents. Despite these misses, the company reported actual revenue of $1.03 billion, surpassing estimates by $37.95 million. Looking ahead to the upcoming quarter, analysts are estimating a FFO of 43 cents and an EPS gap of 41 cents, with revenue projections at $1.12 billion. Over the last 90 days, there have been three upward revisions to the FFO estimates and no downward revisions, indicating a positive sentiment among analysts about the company's future earnings potential. For investors, especially those focused on dividends, the earnings miss may be a point of consideration, but the revenue beat and positive FFO revisions suggest that Realty Income's core business remains strong. The upcoming quarter's earnings will be an important indicator to watch for signs of continued financial health and the ability to maintain those all-important monthly dividends. Realty Income's revisions grade is a CR, indicating a somewhat mixed sentiment in analysts' expectations. Over the last 90 days, there have been three upward revisions and one downward revision for the fiscal year one, FY1 estimates. In terms of FFO projections for FY1, there have been four upward revisions, but notably, there have also been 10 downward revisions. In comparison to the sector median, Realty Income has had a significantly higher percentage of upward revisions for FY1 earnings estimates with 75% compared to the sector median of 40.65%. This shows a relatively more optimistic outlook among analysts covering reality income as compared to the sector average. However, the story is slightly different for FFO, where upward revisions are less than the sector median and downward revisions are slightly higher. While the number of upward revisions is somewhat lower than the sector median by 16.62%, downward revisions are 8.68% above the sector median. The disparity in revisions, particularly for FFO, suggests that while there's optimism about the company's earnings potential, there's also caution, potentially due to market conditions, realty incomes, specific operational challenges, or a combination of both. Investors may want to consider these revisions as part of a broader analysis to gauge the company's future financial health and its ability to continue delivering on its dividend promise. The FFO surprise and estimates by quarter graph for Realty Income Corporation illustrates a mix of outcomes in terms of the company's financial performance. In the first and third quarters of 2023, the company exceeded expectations, beating estimates by two cents. However, in the fourth quarter of 2023, there was a notable miss with FFO falling short by six cents. Looking at the FFO changes year over year, YEOY, there's an observable fluctuation in growth rates. The first quarter of 2024 shows a modest increase of 1.15% YEOY, while the second and third quarters of 2024 exhibit slightly higher growth rates of 3.05% and 2.17% respectively. The fourth quarter of 2024, however, is forecasting a significant jump with an 8.63% increase EOY. This data, particularly the Q4 surge in FFO growth, could suggest that the company is expecting stronger performance towards the end of 2024. For investors, this pattern of mixed quarterly results, but an overall positive growth trajectory could be a point of interest, especially in terms of assessing the sustainability of dividend payments and the company's financial health as a whole. Realty Income Corporation scores quite well on several key dividend metrics. Its dividend safety is rated at C+, 
which suggests a moderate level of confidence in the company's ability to continue paying its current dividend amount. The company's dividend growth and yield are both graded a solid B, indicating that they are attractive compared to its peers within the real estate sector. The standout here is Realty Income's dividend consistency, earning an a grade, which highlights the company's exceptional track record of paying consistent dividends. This is underscored by their 26 years of dividend growth, showcasing a long-standing commitment to returning value to shareholders. The forward dividend yield is high at 5.82%, coupled with an annual payout of $3.08. The payout ratio currently stands at 74.35%, which is a measure of the proportion of earnings paid out as dividends to shareholders. This ratio reflects a balance, sustaining enough reinvestment into the company while rewarding investors. Additionally, the five-year dividend growth rate sits at 3.59%, pointing to a steady increase in the dividend payout over time. The most recently announced dividend is 26 cents, with a consistent monthly frequency, which is particularly appealing to investors who depend on regular income streams from their investments. Overall, Realty Income presents a compelling profile for dividend-focused investors. This chart displays the dividend yield for Realty Income Corporation over the last five years. Currently, the yield is at 5.79%, which has increased by a striking 57.51% from where it was five years ago. This suggests a significant rise in the yield that investors receive from their investment in the company. Observing the trend, there was a notable spike in yield during the early part of the chart, which likely correlates with the market disruptions caused by the 2020 global events. Since then, the yield has shown volatility, but has generally trended upwards, indicating that the dividends paid out have been increasing, or the stock price has been declining, or a combination of both. For dividend investors, this elevated yield could be attractive as it represents a higher income return on investment, particularly in a persistently low interest rate environment. The rise in yield also underscores the company's commitment to growing its dividends, which is a positive sign for investors looking for stable and growing income streams. The dividend growth chart for Realty Income Corporation illustrates the incremental increase in dividend payments over the last five years. Each bar represents an annual increase, showing a consistent pattern of growth year over year through 2023. The consistency in raising dividends year after year is a positive signal for investors who prioritize income growth from their investments. This sustained upward trend in dividends is indicative of Realty Income's commitment to returning value to shareholders and its confidence in the company's financial performance and stability. The Consensus Dividend Estimates chart forecasts a gradual increase in Realty Income Corporation's dividend rate over the next three fiscal years. Analysts anticipate the annual dividend rate to rise from $3.14 in December 2024 to $3.25 in December 2025 and further to $3.42 by December 2026. Correspondingly, the consensus yield is expected to grow alongside the dividend rate starting from 5.92% in 2024 and projected to increase to 6.14% in 2025, then reaching 6.45% by 2026. The range of estimates for each year shows both the low and high ends, providing a sense of the variation in analysts' expectations. These projections compiled from a substantial number of analysts, 14 for 2024 and 13 for 2025 with a smaller group of six for 2026, suggest a confident outlook for the company's ability to not only maintain, but also increase its dividend payouts in the coming years. This anticipated growth in both the dividend rate and yield can be quite appealing to investors, especially those looking for steady and rising income from their investments. In conclusion, our detailed analysis using various valuation models, discounted cash flow, dividend discount model, and the Benjamin Graham valuation suggests that Realty Income Corp may be overvalued at its current market price. Each model, with its own set of assumptions and focus, points to a lower intrinsic value than the stock's trading price. As investors, it's crucial to take these valuation indicators into consideration, but also to look beyond the numbers, assessing broader market conditions and the company's strategic position. 
Remember, these models are tools to aid in decision-making, not the final word. As always, perform due diligence and consider your investment goals and risk tolerance before making investment decisions. If you found this analysis insightful, make sure to like and subscribe for more in-depth reviews. For those interested in diving deeper, check out our valuation tools available in the description. And don't forget to click on the next video to stay up to date with Dividend Dynamics. Happy investing!